Well, first of all, many of us are really pagans. We have rejected God's idea for our lives. We show no interest in what his plans for us are. We don't spend a minute of any day asking him what he wants us to do. And so we have actually rejected his rule over us. And so we have no confidence in expecting that he will fulfill his promises to us because his promises are conditional upon us obeying him. And so many of us are just rank pagans. We don't let God govern our personal relationships with other people. We don't let him govern what we're going to do on vacation. We don't let him govern our marriage plans. We don't let him govern what we do with our businesses. So we actually quake inside when it comes to God's promises because we know we have no ground to expect him to fulfill those promises to us simply because they are conditional upon obedience. So many of us are ranked pagans. That's the way some of us miss his plan. But there are others of us here this morning who say, well, I'm not a pagan. I'm not a rebel. I believe in God. I believe Jesus died for me. I believe many of the things that you've talked about there in God's plan to f meet my needs for security. I believe those things, but somehow in my life, I still experience the anxiety that Auden talked about. In headaches and worry, vaguely life leaks away. That's what my life is like. I believe God is a good God. I believe he's kind. I believe he's taking care of me. But I must admit I do get worried. And I do get anxious about the bills that have to be paid. And I do get concerned about my future. And I do seem to have many of the symptoms of the people you describe as Baal worshippers. Why? Syncretism. Syncretism. It's, it's S Y N. C-R-E-T-I-S-M. It means worshipping or trying to worship two gods at once. And you see, that's why God said what he did to Elijah. He said, look, I have 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to Baal. Israel as a whole has Israel as a whole says me as Jehovah God, but they also try to worship Baal. And of course, I'm a jealous God. I know that you can't get anything unless you trust me completely apart from anything else. So really, you can't worship two gods at once, and they aren't worshiping two gods at once. They're really worshiping the God that they trust day by day. And loved ones, that's the situation with many of us. We say we believe in God, and in our heads we give mental assent to him. And we give mental assent to the idea that Jesus died for us. But day by day, we don't trust our dear Father, who is our truest friend, and who will never let us down. We don't. We don't live that way. We live day by day trusting our possessions and our ability to gather and collect enough of them to see us through to the end of this life. 